Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're back in the backup data center today. Um, I had the UPS uh, fixed, uh, actually replaced. I'm gonna show you that and I'm gonna also move things back over to the UPS and I'm gonna rewire some of the uh, electrical wiring back there. So I'll show you what we did back there. So as you can see, we got a new unit here. The old unit is still in the rack. Uh, I gotta get someone to help me take that out because it is very heavy. But I replaced it here with a uh, APC Symmetric Symmetrix LX unit. Um, it's actually a uh, pretty nice unit. Um, fits two batteries. Uh, it's got. Uh, intelligent man management modules in here uh, you know so it can handle different uh, power loads and off, you know offset things uh, with the amount of power that you're putting in there and then on the back of the unit uh, you get your different connections down below here uh, to plug in and then obviously you have a management card which we will configure later uh, to get into the unit and to be able to monitor it. So as I showed you before, uh, got a lot of electrical cleanup here and I'm gonna make sure that I go through here and uh, you know obviously neaten it up and then what I like to do is with things that have redundant power supplies I like to take one side put them on one unit and to then take the other side and put them on another just for a feel safe just in case one of these power units were to go it's at least going to keep my equipment up So just to give you an idea what I'm doing, and like I said, it's it's gonna take a little bit. It's really messy, so it's like everything was just all plugged in here. Um, partly because uh, a while back we replaced a lot of equipment and we didn't have really much time to uh, reroute all the cabling and everything. So that's what I'm doing now. So if you can see, one side of the switch is over here. The other side is going to another unit right now. Um, the only issue is, is I don't think I'm going to have enough um, inputs on the back of this to add uh, any more of these. So I'm probably going to have to just split this between these two um, because this rack right here um, also has to go into the UPS. So uh, it is taking a little bit longer than I wanted to, but. I'd rather do this right and clean it up because we're not changing it anytime soon and as you can tell this rack is really bad um, just because people have added uh, little odds and ends here and there and it kind of needs to be all uh, wrapped up and things like that. So I'm going to continue to work here and uh, hopefully get this all tidied up.
right guys so um, I did do a time lapse but um, it's gonna definitely be too long uh, I'll put some of it in there but this is what I ended up with um, so I got this all cleaned up here um, that bottom one is actually not on the uh, battery backup but I just have some things that it doesn't matter if they shut off they'll turn back on it's nothing critical uh, I cleaned up this rack uh, a lot better uh, still gonna do some work after the fact then everything plugs to the back up here and as you can see on the screen right now uh, sorry about the glare pull this off uh, so we're at a, obviously a hundred percent charge and we're only using 35% of the load. So right now the runtime with this is 40 minutes, which um, we, we don't really have to worry about because the generator kicks right on. Um, and then this other rack right here, um, that's all set. So uh, stick around for the next video because I'm gonna uh, go into how you configure one of these um, APC units and uh, we'll walk through that and I'll teach uh, any of you that haven't done it before I'd like to see it uh, in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.